Hello guys, my name is Marcin and welcome in another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to create portrait lightning manipulation, how to create this type of retouch and I think it's uh, quite easy and you shouldn't have a problem to create this and for me it also look uh, interesting so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and also I have quick announcement for you because for two days I'm moving to the Newcastle in the UK I changed my living place so so you can accept short break from tutorials uh, but not so long I think uh, it will be max a uh, few weeks maybe after two weeks I upload uh, some tutorial I'm not sure but uh, I want to tell you about this and well wish me luck in this and right now uh, let's start our tutorials at first as always it will be a few regular steps we need to remove blemish and things like this make some color correction so duplicate our background layer I call it blemish whatever and for this uh, as you see it's a quite nice model without uh, uh, blemish and other things but we can uh, make few corrections I use patch tool but the best way for blemish is put, is put heading brush tool take a look what I do I just want to remove some things like that Okay, I think it's enough right now, uh, but I want to make this image uh, whiten, I want uh, to create a white skin, so again duplicate our layer with blemish and call it whiten skin. Same steps I do on my full portrait retouch video, so so if you're watching my full portrait retouch video you probably now are bored and you can skip a few steps so to to make white and skin i change blend mode to screen and then go to image adjustments and click the saturate it is definitely too strong, so you can change opacity to 40%. As you see, we lose the natural color of the hair. But if you want to fix this, you can add layer mask and paint with color black and bring back the natural color of the hair. But I don't want to do this. Uh, first of all, I don't have so much time and second, I like this color. And now is typical step to retouch. I want to use mixer brush. As you see, click here and then click mixer brush tool. But what I need to say it's only for Photoshop CS6. Probably Photoshop CS5 didn't have this tool, so you need to use some other method. Uh, but I think right now the most of you using the most of you use Photoshop CS6, so you shouldn't have a problem. If you don't have this version of Photoshop, whatever, just uh, use other tools to to make the retouch, and it will be also okay. So create new layer. I want to make really soft skin, uh, a natural soft skin, that's what I want. So select clean brush, 
as you see. Uh, click this, click the clean brush after each stroke, select custom and here you have my properties. I put wet and load at 10%, mix and flow at 20%. I know it's uh, pretty much, but it's okay for me and for this uh, this project. So just paint this with this tool, and for a moment you started to see uh, the difference. But really, we need to be we need to be careful with this tool. Uh, these properties are really strong. Usually, it should be about ten percent mix and flow should be about ten percent and load and wet even at five. But as I said, I want to create really soft and unnatural skin. Right now you should see the difference. Okay, I think it looks quite okay. Our skin is really soft right now. What should I do next? I think I um, can uh, add another effect, another effect to improve the skin color. And uh, I think for this I use Channel Mixer. Channel Mixer is quite okay to with uh, portrait I put in uh, output channel red I put red and at 95 take a look it will be a little colder and in panel blue I put blue at 95 at 95 maybe even at 90. Red at five. Okay. Okay, it's a little different. <laughs> okay, right now it's quite nice. We can add some makeup on the eye, but it isn't necessary. It can be really, really soft makeup. Use the regular brush tool. Uh, select the color, for example, green, soft green color. Let's add some of this on the eye. Change blend mode to soft light, of course. And change opacity. can create another okay. 
and add some Gaussian blue on this layer to make it more realistic. And okay, it's really soft uh, and natural makeup. And right now we need to create our tutorial idea. So we need to add some lightning effects uh, to this portrait. I just need to use some brush. You can uh, download some different brushes uh, from the DeviantArt, for example. I usually download the brushes from DevArtArt or from Brushesy, and they are sometimes really useful. So create new layer, select color white, and select your brush. Well, I decided I don't want to this uh, makeup, so whatever. Find the light brushes. I have this one. Uh, you pr you can use something different. Uh, you don't need to use uh, what I want. What I use and just click on this layer and as you see it looks something like this for me it's really nice for me it looks uh, okay I just change the opacity to 80% because it can be too strong of course it is too strong so I need to put this again on this layer little higher right here okay and now I change the opacity to 85 of course you can add other brushes as um, other effects create new layer right now I use uh, something like this I put this here and here and maybe here some Now just change the opacity if it's too strong and it should uh, look better. So create our final result, press Shift, Control, Alt and E because we want to create real lightning effects right now. Shift, Control, Alt and E as I said. So right now we need to create our final result. So press Shift, Control, Alt, and E. Create our final result. Convert this to the smart object because we want to add some lightning effects. And go to Filter, Render, and click Lightning Effects. Okay, we can make it smaller I put the light something like this maybe a little higher it's really dark on the bottom but it's okay I think I put something like this here you have my properties, intensity I put at uh, uh, 15, because it's optimal for me. Hotspot 30, colorize, etc. And take a look how it looks. I think it's not bad, it is exactly what I want. This um little dark effect and i have another option at the end because uh, lately i download uh, some plugins uh, to the photoshop some nice effects and uh, i put the link in the description to this effect it's ca it's called perfect effects 4 and you can download the trial version 
uh, from this website I put the link in the description or also you can uh, download uh, the free version of Perfect Effects 4 so whatever to use the perfect effects click window extensions and then on one if you download these effects uh, they installed automatically so shouldn't be worry I'm not sure what I want I I just want to show you uh, some options maybe I add some uh, color effects I'm not sure I need to check the vintage for example Avril it's too strong definitely but we can change the amount but I don't like it as you see you can add uh, different effects it looks definitely nice but I change the amount to 50 maybe and maybe also I try with the other effect I'm not sure take a look contrast try with turbo bust and it looks also nice for this and again I put amount about 40 so take a look on our result Uh, as you know I don't want to put too much uh, filters you can add more filters if you want uh, so it's all it's our effect and I think it looks quite okay so thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you in the next tutorial thank you